Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost you anything, so thank you. Please remember this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest alone. Beauty. Beauty. It's about seeing the beauty in everyday life, seeing the beauty in people. When we see our blessings in everyday life, uh, we attract more of that to ourselves. So it might be that you need to see the beauty in a situation or person here. Closure closure. It might be that you need to be um, more rewarding to yourself as well. Do what's best for you here. You're a beautiful person. So closure here. You can see she's walking away. There's a healing pink energy around. That's healing for me. There's love around her. She's walking away here and down a new path. So let's see. There's beauty in doing that. Let's see. It could be you're not seeing the beauty in something here and you're needing to move on. Page of Swords. The Seven of Wands. And the Nine of Swords. Now there's upset and anxiety here. Definitely. Upset. This is unnecessary worry. What Spirit's saying is, if you listen to your intuition, you'll get the answer here. You'll start to see the way forward. This is about you speaking up, standing your ground, being determined here. Your boundaries could be challenged here. Now, you're beautiful and you're unique and you deserve the best in life. Okay? What's going on in your outside world is a reflection of what's going on within you. So we need to ground ourselves here most definitely. Okay? So if there's things going on that you're not happy with, it's time to stand up. You've got the upper hand. So it's about, it could be that you've got good boundaries and they're being challenged. If there's somebody here who's not respecting your boundaries or not listening to you or feeling you're, that you're insignificant, not seeing the beauty in you, then it's time to look at this. So we need to listen to our intuition here and we need to start to think about what path we're going to go down. And for some of you, it can be moving on. So let's see what this Seven of Wands is about. Just let me get that card. Full card. The Eight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. And what we've got here is we've got moving towards your happiness is going to take a leap of faith down a brand new path. So there's closure here. This is closure for some of you. It's going down a brand new path. It's traveling lightly. He doesn't take all his challenges with him. You see a little nap pack on his back. He travels light. So it's about you standing your ground now, being prepared to take that leap of faith forward, go down your own path, do what's right for you here and move towards your happiness, most definitely. And this will move you on very, very quickly. This is quick moving energy. So whatever the disappointment here is, uh, this could be leaving a job and moving to a new town to live, it, taking up a new job in another town. It could be emails and texts that are coming through because you're prepared now to stand your ground and start down a new path. You're starting to get the clarity you need. There's good news could come in. This is any kind of movement forward and it's going to move you on. So there's something that needs to shut down here. Uh, let's see this nine of swords. For your own sake, for your own sake, you deserve better. You're not being appreciated here. You feel you're not being appreciated. Your skills aren't being respected. You're not being respected as a person. Your boundaries. Um, you need to think about how you're going to go forward. The Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. Beautiful energy there. And the Queen of Swords. And this is you deciding. This is a mental energy. It's somebody who has a strategy. They don't come from their heart chakra. They're using their, um, their brain here. There, it's an intellectual decision. To move on. Now this can be divorce, it can be the singles person here, it can be somebody who's speaking up. You're thinking about what you've got to say and eventually you're going to have to stand your ground and say it. Um, and making it very clear what you want. It's about having the clarity to go down a brand new path here and nobody gets in your way. And you'll be able to focus again, regain your focus. Now this could be like I say, if you've been passed over in work, it could be somebody's not respecting your skills. You're good at what you do on an everyday basis. So you might want to take your skills elsewhere. That's just an example. This could be any area of your life. It could be that you need to refocus and ground yourself again. And when we go down that new path, because we're doing it, you know, we're doing it with a strategy here, 
we're doing what we know is right for us, we can start to focus and rebuild things as well. Because you've got a lot of good skills, you've got a lot of good attributes here that you could use to bring and build stability for yourself in life. And that's where your blessings will lie. There's lots of blessings to be had from doing that. So be true to yourself here. Do what's right for you. Goodness me. Do what's right for you here. It's time to move on for some of you, definitely. Take your skills elsewhere. Take yourself elsewhere. Shut it down and go down that, take that leap of faith. And, and Archangel Sandaldorf. I have heard your call for help. Your prayers will soon be answered. You've got angelic support here. The spirit is aware that you're going through this time of change. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.